Uh, so, I think it is seeing Coach Fickle, knowing Coach Trust, they have the relationships with him. I was with Coach Trust for a year at Michigan State. He recruited me for you know, three years before that. And Coach Fickle recruited me, so I was kind of familiar with him. And, uh, I was always a big fan of their culture, and I was always a yeah. fan of Wisconsin from afar. And yeah. knowing that they have a great culture, well, knew a couple guys on the team. Like, it was just something I wanted to be a part of. You know, I know you've been out since like you know since first spring practice. Can you ask me just what what's been ailing you, and, and just you know, how are you still trying to gain mental reps or trying to work through things too when you know during these spring practices? Oh no, I just had a little sickness, but I'm all good. I'm just waiting for that to die down. But uh, it had it was good to get in there for the first practice and do with the tempo and then, uh, just from then on taking the mental reps and trying to help the guys out and learn from far. And, but, uh, Obviously, I'm in all the meetings and all that, so I feel good as far as the mental side, you know, the playbook, and knowing the scheme, so now it's just a way to get back out there. How, you know, different is it from, you know, you, you play yeah, like a defensive end at Michigan State, right? Like, mm -hmm. with what you're being asked, you know, what are you, what are you being asked in terms of the position uh, for outside linebacker, and just how are you working to adapt to what you're being asked with the Spartans? I think um, at Michigan State, being a DN, kind of outside backer hybrid, and um, play, being an edge guy. Right, playing on the edge. So a lot of that's similar here in the run game and the pass rush. You know, that extra stuff kind of translates. Now it's just kind of learning more of the coverages and how you fit in both of the pass routes. But uh, the coaches and players have done a great job of helping me out. I feel like I'm getting a good grasp on those. So, but I would say that's the biggest difference is just learning the coverages and getting used to dropping into the coverage rather than the shot. Um, I don't think it was surprising because I know they had a great culture, but um, I'm, it's been, they've just been so good and so well and helping me out. So um, that's one thing that's just awesome. That's one thing I learned about them. It's, it's full of good guys in the locker room. It's full of great teammates and great guys. So, Love Wisconsin, they love each other, they want to make the program the best. Talking about the culture, going back before spring ball, we saw the video where you were given, kind of earned your W. How, uh, how was kind of that moment and how are you embracing the culture itself here? That was something I thought was really cool that they did with um, Coach Brady and Coach Vick. Um, you know, having the new guys earn the W, and that's something I believe is you got to earn your stripes wherever you're at. So um, that was an awesome moment. And, uh, I think all the guys are in their W's was cool moments because it's like that's where the team comes together. I think you really feel like you're a part of something. And uh, from the moment I walked in, I could tell it was a special culture. And Coach Vic and Coach Brady and all the coaches, they brought a little, you know, it was a good culture before, and they brought a little bit of things in that the guys are excited about and everyone's rallying around it. So it's been great to be a part of it. And yeah, that was an awesome moment. Based on how you were used at Michigan State, when you get back on the field, what's going to be the transition like for you? Um, I, I think it's a lot, like I was saying, you're playing the edge a lot, so that translates. You know, whether you're playing a defensive end or they're going to call an outside linebacker, most of the 85% of the stuff is probably the same. It's you know, rushing the passer and stopping the run, taking on blocks. The coverage part, we're going to do a little bit more here. But over at you know, the OTAs and the spring ball, the one practice I was able to get out there, I feel good in the drops. The guys have helped me out, and um, I'm getting more and more comfortable with that part of the game. So I'm looking forward to getting back out there soon and growing more in that regard. And then you got the whole summer and the whole fall camp to really try and master it. You dealt with an injury last year pretty early. Uh, you missed the rest of the season. What was that? And just how tough was that mentally for you coming off a really good season here? Yeah, it was tough um, coming off that good sophomore year. As a team, you know, we had a great success and we're a top 10 team and being a, a key contributor on that and having a good year and building momentum. So going into my junior year, you know, expectations were high for the team and myself. And, um, you know, the injury kind of was tough. I had an ankle injury. I had surgery. And it happened the third, third game of the year. So. And it was tough because you're trying to get back and you kind of had a couple setbacks as far as coming back for the end of the year. So it's tough, but it also shows you a lot about yourself. It kind of shows you a lot about the game. Like, you, know, you start to really love the game. And you start to take a step back and look at things and you learn a lot about 
how to be a leader so, when you can be out there, how you need to help the help other players. guys. And I thought so I grew as a yeah, person and, and as a player from that setback. So yeah, I'm excited, obviously, to get back out there and start playing again and uh, do what you want. Do you know, was that the Washington game or was that a different game? Where you got the Washington game. Yeah. When, when did you, how long did, did you take to rehab before you came back and feel and feel, okay, I can play football again? I would say it probably took where you're feeling 100% better to myself, it probably took close to December. Yeah, it was, it was a long process in that, and they did a good job over there rehabbing me and helping me out, and it was just one of those things that kind of just took time. And I think the nature of the position, being in the trenches, it kind of, I've seen guys come back a little bit quicker from that surgery, who were, you know, quarterbacks and receivers and whatnot, but it was just tough to get in the trenches and get rolled up on, so. Yeah. Yeah. Say, what, what position within that linebacker group, all the outside linebackers, group, it's feeling the boundary, are you currently learning, uh, and then on the second part of that, it's like, how would you describe yourself right now off the edge? Oh, um, currently I'm in the boundary position, uh, that inside linebacker, and um, coming off the edge, I feel good as far as, Body-wise, I feel back to 100%. I feel like I've been at 100% for uh, you know close to three, four months since probably December. So I feel good and comfortable coming off the edge and uh, ready to get back to you know where I was and grow and get better from what I was that sophomore and beginning of junior year. So when that season ended, did you envision yourself being in East Lansing and ending up not only somewhere else, but in a place where you're green? You know? No. It was a while, a couple of weeks, so yeah. really can you, can you walk us through that? Yeah. Right um, I think that it was just, uh, you know, East Lansing had Michigan State, we had a lot of good times there, and I learned a lot, and there's a lot of relationships there that, I mean, like, those are some of my best friends, and coaching-wise, you know, those are some people in that building that are, I look at like family. Mm -hmm. We had um, a, coach, a couple coaching changes, and then with Coach Fickle and Coach Trussell coming here into the Big Ten, it just, it felt right, it was something I wanted to be a part of. But it was kind of a whirlwind, and because uh, I was a late transfer too, I think it was like a week and a half before school started. So yeah, no, it was crazy. What was your experience like in the transfer portal? Just was anything surprising about it? Did you, I mean, is it something that you really enjoyed going through, or just what was it? Like? Um, I, I would say I would say coming out of high school, I wasn't a guy that really loved being. I mean, I loved getting the opportunity to play, but I wasn't too pumped up about the recruiting process. I just wanted to find the best spot and go with it and then go help the high school team. And that's kind of how I envisioned the transfer portal. With Coach Fick and Coach Trust being here, I didn't stay in there too long. It was more of just uh, get with them, making sure it was a good fit. And then once I knew I could come here, it was uh, pretty much a done deal immediately. So I wasn't really looking around too much. As a leader, um, Coach Mitchell just talked about how you're kind of a one-on-one -on -one leader, pulling people aside, helping them out when you see something. Um, how, what was the transition to being a leader here like? How did you kind of evolve into one? And uh, how is that a part of your kind of day-to-day -day process now? Well, I think we got great leadership in the room before I got here. And um, like you know, you got guys like CJ who's played a long time to come up on six years. DP he's played ball. He's a good player. All the guys, everyone's helping each other out. And I think um, when I was at Michigan State, I when I was a young player, kind of coming into my own that soft, my freshman and sophomore year, seeing more snaps on the field, and then eventually starting my sophomore year. I had so the older guys were so they coached me and taught me and a lot of my game is just because they were so good to me. So I would try and give that back and whenever they, you see something, I've got some snaps under my belt and some good, a good amount of experience. So you want to help the guys out, whether they're younger or older. It's just kind of helping everyone in the room achieve their best so we can be our best is the way I look at it. Sorry if you've been asked this before, but what drew you to Wisconsin? Why, why 